Good morning, everyone. Can I welcome cabinet members, the management team, and members of the public viewing to today's online cabinet meeting. At this stage, could I ask that cabinet members and officers in attendance please leave your microphones on mute during the meeting unless uh, you want to comment. Could I also ask that any officers present turn off your video feed uh, unless you wish to speak. As and when you wish to comment on any item, please just unmute your mic, say your name, and allow a brief pause uh, until you're visible on screen, and then the live feed will transfer uh, to um, put your comments on. In advance of today's meeting, both myself and the Cabinet members, along with all participants in the Cabinet meeting, have been sent electronic copies of the agenda and I can confirm that people have read through in advance the report and proposed decisions and are familiar with the content of this. I also note that an opportunity has been offered for the public to register to ask questions. Uh, we've had nobody um, who was asked to uh, address us at Cabinet today on any items on the agenda. At this stage in the meeting, I will ask the committee secretary to bring each of the cabinet members on screen individually in turn to check that they can be seen and heard, and also that we can see and hear all of the participants. We'll also be joined today by another a number of other councillors, including um, Mayor Councillor Anna Rothery, Councillor Jane Corbett, and we are also expecting Councillor Hetty Wood. Um, during part of the agenda as well. Um, can I also confirm that the senior management team are also present and online for the meeting and that we have had apologies from Mayor Anderson, Councillors Liz Parson, Sharon Connor, Ruth Bennett, Tony Reeves, Paul Brandt and Jeanette McLaughlin. Any other apologies before we move into introductions no so can i invite you peter to call in each of the cabinet members to verify that they can see and hear the proceedings this morning thank you chair um i'll start with on my screen uh councillor gary miller please uh, good morning everyone and thank you yes i can see and hear you and councillor robertson collins Hi, yes, I can hear you and see you, thanks. Thank you. Uh, Councillor Pam Thomas, please. Yes, all fine, thank you. Uh, Councillor Barry Kushner, please. Yeah, all good. Um, Councillor Barbara Murray, please. Good morning, yeah, I can see him here, thank you. And, and uh, also we have, as the Chair said, uh, uh, our Lord Mayor, Councillor Anna Rothery. Good morning. Yes, I can. Thank you. And Councillor Jane Corbett. See and hear you fine. Thank you. Oh, thank you, Anna. Uh, Councillor Jane Corbett, please. Jane? Um, just on mute, just. I... Yep, I can see and hear everyone. Thank you, Jane. Yep. yep. I think that's everyone, yeah. Thank you, Chair. Thanks, Peter. Can I also say that Councillor Lenny Hinnigan may also be joining us in the proceedings. She's currently having difficulty accessing the link, so she may join us uh, partway through if that connection uh, can be made. Um, so if we go to item number one, which is a declaration of interest, does anybody have any interest to declare on the agenda today? No? Okay then, item number two, which is the minutes of the last meeting, which it contains um, on pages one to 15 of your agendas. Are the minutes of our last meeting agreed? I will assume they are unless somebody dissents. No, that's fine. Item number three are mayoral reports, and there are none to be considered this morning. So we go right on to item number four, which is the mayoral recommendation. We have one public recommendation to consider today, which is item A, the specialist restoration work of Lister Drive 
Library, which can be found on pages 16 to 28 of the agenda. And this recommendation seeks approval for further funding to complete the restoration work on the Grade 2 listed library building due to the, due to the condition of the building fabric being significantly worse than could have been foreseen at the pre-contract stage. Once the library is completed, it will provide a base to roll out support and advice services to the local community, which could support, enhance, or complement existing council service provision. I don't think anyone's indicated that they wish to speak on this item. No? So if they don't, are the recommendations as set out in the report agreed? Yep. Thanks for that. So if we then move on to agenda item number five, uh, which is reports from City Council select committees or officer delegated decisions. There is one report under this item, which is on pages 29 to 51, and that's the report of the Fractional Investment Scrutiny Panel, which was appointed by the Regeneration and Sustainable Select Committee. The report outlines the findings of the panel together with a clear set of recommendations. The minutes of the Select Committee meeting, which received the report on the 12th of August, are on pages 1 to 14 of the supplementary agenda. And on behalf of Mayor Anderson and the Cabinet, I would like to place on record our thanks to the panel members and supporting officers for this report, and in particular to the Chair, Councillor Jane Corbett, for the hard work and commitment undertaken in this in-depth scrutiny. And okay. um, I'm just trying to check, has Councillor Hetty Wood joined us this morning, Peter? Chair of that committee? No, she hasn't. Um, no, she hasn't come on so far. Jane, um, and I know we've had no questions in on the report, but would you like to say a few words on the report um, at this point, given Hetty has been unable to make it today? Thank you, uh, Wendy. Just to say that if the Cabinet agree this, um, we'll be having a, a final scrutiny panel meeting at the end of November um, to make sure that all the actions in the report are carried through um, so people can see that, that uh, the Council are taking this very, very seriously right across the Council, uh, councillors and officers. And also just to, to place on record, as you said, that the hard work from people um, particularly the council officers and also the people who gave evidence to us. We had a lot of evidence being brought in and that was really, uh, really carefully done by people uh, and took their time and, and commitment. So thanks for that. Thanks, Jane. And again, thanks to myself and all the people, as you said, who took part in that. It was a, a very in-depth report. Um, and thanks for coming in on your holidays to join us uh, this morning. Uh, so can I move that? The 11 recommendations of the panel, as outlined in the report, are accepted by Cabinet. Is that agreed? Yeah, thanks for that. Um, item number eight, which is minutes. We have one set of minutes to consider, which is from the Highways and Public Spaces Representation Committee, which was held on the 20th of August 2020, uh, and that's on the supplementary pages 15 to 16 comprises of the minutes and decision of that meeting um, are the recommendations set out in the report agreed. Yeah. Agreed. Thank you. Good morning, Lenny. Thanks for joining us. I did give you apologies because you're having sorry. Sorry when they've been having today. problems. Don't know yeah. how much to get it on. It was fed through. Thanks for that. We do now have two partially exempt reports to consider. I suggest that we do consider those as published on the main agenda uh, to the meeting. Uh, both appendices from item four, sorry, item three A, and two of the four appendices for item three B are exempt. So, unless ca cabinet members have any questions on those, uh, we will be able to consider them in public. Are there any questions? No then we can consider both reports now on this uh, public agenda. Um, so part two, item 3A, which is the corporate telephony platform. Uh, the recommendation seeks approval to award a contract 
for the corporate telephony contract report is timely in terms of adjusting to an agile way of working, which has been accelerated by COVID-19, and the contract will facilitate the needs of the local authority going forward. The new system will also enable staff to answer calls regardless of their location, which will provide the flexibility required in some of the new ways of working. So are there recommended recommendations as set out in the report on pages 52 to 64 agreed? Yep, thank you. Part two, which is item 3B, and it's the Rocket Junction proposals, which is on pages 65 to 92 of your report. This recommendation seeks approval to procure and award contracts for the delivery of the Rocket Junction Improvements business case and the necessary asset acquisitions for that scheme. And it will see the entire redesign of this junction, which is the busiest in Liverpool, it will also include the demolition of the existing flyover and the creation of a tunnel to and from the M62, as well as improved cycling and walking facilities and pedestrian crossings. Are the recommendations as set out in the report agreed? Yep, yeah. thanks for that. Um, in respect of mayoral announcements, there are no major announcements this week, but I think it would be remiss of me not to um, recognise the um, commemorations last weekend um, that took place around the International Slavery Day. Uh, a lot of online um, events took place which were really well received and allowed people who ordinarily may not be able to get to uh, those events to take place and there were obviously some socially distanced uh, physical events that took place as well um, and obviously there's no time like the present that we need to remember you know the struggles that still continue um, across the world um, at this time. Also um, we've got our bank holiday weekend ahead of us um, and next week starts the return um, of our pupils and students uh, to schools, colleges, etc. Um, amongst that excitement of uh, many, including parents and the children themselves, there are also obviously anxieties. And I know Barbara and Steve have been working really closely um, with the schools and colleges, head teachers, um, public health, um, and our communications team doing a fantastic job trying to get the messages out there and alleviate. And we've had some fantastic. Uh, podcasts and videos from our young people as well and our young advisors who've also you know sort of been getting that message out uh, to their fellow students so good luck to everybody um, returning and for those who are anxious and do have uh, some fears then um, certainly you know there is support there and uh, do get in touch uh, by your schools um, or by uh, the city council uh, for support if, if you do need that. So that then um, ends our live stream today. If the cabinet can stay online for um, an update um, in relation to public health matters uh, following this meeting. So I hope everybody has a good weekend and um, enjoy the uh, bank holiday as well as you can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chair. Can I just ask James if you could um, turn off the live stream, please, and then um, send me a text message to confirm that's finished, please.